Hello guys, welcome back. So literally I'm going straight into recording video number two. Oh sorry, I should have done this. La da da. Um I feel weird when I don't do this anymore. So basically I've literally just finished recording um part one of this video and now we're going to go into part two and we're going to swatch all of the sets that I showed in part one. I will link that up at the I up there. So we are going to be swatching some be uh, not Beatles, some McCart po uh, not poly gels. Good grief, I cannot speak. Some McCart polishes. So we're going to be swatching the pink um, and the mermaid ones. Um, and we are also going to be swatching a set from Beatles, uh, which is, I'll put a little picture on the screen by here just so you can see. Uh, basically, the, we're going to swatch the Beatles first and, oh, that is a beautiful navy. So this set only comes with five um, gel, uh, gel polishes, but it also comes with a nail hardener and it comes with some snowflake, um, what are they called? here's the nail strengthener it comes with the nail strengthener i will show you the it's a very thick as you can see i haven't tried it yet but i will um and it also comes with these snowflakes so yeah some snowflakes some little angels some little snowballs this is really pretty it's like lace so yeah this is what that these come with so there's the first color and it is 471 that blue is so nice i think it looks darker on the on the video <clears throat> but it is beautiful in real life so 472 is oh it's hollow it's like a hollow silver i hope that my lights will like pick up some of the hollow i'm not sure because i video with my phone but I have um, obviously ring lights and I've got two ring lights and then I've got like a little lamp. Uh, so you kind of can see the hollow, I guess, but not really well. That's done in there. That looks very, that gives me very Christmassy vibes. So we are skipping 473 because apparently it's not in this kit. I Like I said in the last one, I think the nail strengthener took over uh, that spot. So we got 474. And it is just a white. Um, Beatles white. I've heard a lot of people complain that Beatles white is um, doesn't cure properly. So we will find out in this video. I have used Beatles white to do like some nail art. But I've never painted a nail with it. Because, well, if I wanted white nails I'd just do poly gel. So, so the next one is a 475. And it's this nice, like, cream sort of muted blue, I guess. It's like a muted bluish grey. More grey. It's like a very, it's a blue undertone grey, I guess. And sorry about my squeaky desk. My 12-year-old squeaky desk. Can you believe that I've had this desk since I was, like, 16? And it's still growing strong with me. I swear, I'm going to be buried with this desk. <laughs> By the way, that's 475. Uh, so yeah, that's like a really nice like greyish blue. I do like that colour. I don't think I have many greys, so it's kind of nice to have a grey. Um, <clears throat> and then last but not least is a 476. Oh, this one is nice. So it's kind of like a metallic. Oh, sorry guys. This is so gorge. I love it. This is just lush. So it kind of gives me like metallic sort of, yeah, definitely me a metallic sort of colour. Kind of reminds me of one of the Christine with no H from Hollow Tacos um, metallic collection, I guess. But it's, this one's got a bit more glitter in it. Oh, those ones are nice. I like that little set. So that's the set that you get this is this is the swatches the beetles so you only get five but like i said you do get the nail strengthener and you do get some little snowflakes and like i said i bought these on the black friday sale so it was only like i think this was like 10 or 11 pound so you know 
So I'm just going to stick these into the lamp. Oh, bumping my lamp as I go. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with those colours. We're going to see now if they do cure. And uh, so I'm just going to jump for you guys because you guys don't need to see this. Um, but I'll be back in a bit. And here's what they look like when they come out of the lamp. So the white cured for me fine there was no problem i cured for a full 60 seconds don't forget though my lamp is a 72 watt led uv lamp so of course curing time is different for different lamps um but yeah i'm happy with those colors and like i said the white is cured the glitters they've all cured fine i will top coat at the end because i'm lazy basically so let's move on to oh, let's go on to this one because uh this mermaid one i've been eyeing up for so long um so this one is the mccart whoa that one jumped out at me <laughs> you didn't see that but it flew at me it couldn't wait to be swatched uh so this one that i'm going to be swatching now is this one it's p99 it's a mermaid gel polish set as you can see the mermaids on the mermaid tails as you can see so there is another set and i did show this in the other video by the way i will quickly show here um i do have a video on this one already um that i will link in the cards because i really enjoyed this set and i think the three mccart sets that i've got here go really nice together this one the jelly and then the mermaid one so yeah i will link that one down below so we are going to quickly just oh gosh I can't undo the bottle. There we go. I'm just going to quickly uh, open all the bottles so that we don't waste time and I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, as I was opening up these bottles, I didn't, I only had like a sneak peek of the bottle, like neck and oh, I'm so excited for these because I, these are gorge by the looks of it. So the first one we're going to swatch is like the pearlescent white and it is 991. Um, these colours look so nice. And the swatches at the front, I don't think they do justice for them. Oh, that is so beautiful. It's like a pearlescent pink white sort of colour, but it's like a baby pink shift. It's white to baby pink. Oh, I think I can see a little bit of blue in there as well. Oh, that one is so stunning. Oh, wow. Sorry, guys. I do get like this with gel polish. I'm obsessed with gel polish and poly gel. Um, <laughs> I just love, oh, that is so pretty. Look, oh, the camera does not give it justice. There is just so many beautiful shifts in that color. Oh, wow. Oh, this one is even better. <laughs> um, I don't know, actually. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I don't know if I can compare it to the other one, though. So this one is, um, 992. And it's like an orange pearlescent sort of colour <clears throat> I do apologise for my voice it just keeps breaking because I don't stop talking <sighs> so anyway let's get on to this I'm sorry I talk a lot in some of my videos but hey I love chatting to you guys even though I'm actually just talking to myself I know that eventually you guys will reply in the comments so yeah so this one's like a salmony sort of pink it's like an orange but it like shifts to like a salmony sort of colour and this gold tints the gosh i swear this this lighting is not picking it up and doing it justice so this one is a 993 oh that one there was the year i was born if you had a one at the beginning sorry showing my age <laughs> so this one is a pink and i've got a feeling that it's just going to have like gold shift and shimmers in it oh that's so pretty you know when you like swatch gel polishes and they go from like gorge to more gorge and then it's just it doesn't end it just keeps surprising you those three are really nice so yeah i was right there's like a gold shift um these by the way here i didn't mention these are really nice too they're really creamy and they're not too thick but they're not too thin um so yeah and they're full cut that's just one coat there you can add two coats by all means it's just i like to add just one coat so that i can see how sh like sheer the poly the poly gel the polish will actually be so this one is 994 and it is this green that's so nice oh wow <laughs> um so it's kind of like a turquoise green blue i guess it's definitely green but it's giving me like 
aerial mermaid tail vibes, you know. Oh, that one's really pretty. So there is that one. <clears throat> it is more green in person than it is on the camera. These seem to be very, very light compared to like real life. They're not like dark in person, but so this one is actually a blue. So you'll see comparison now of the blue. And this one is 995. And again, it's got like gold shifts. Something's going on with the brush. What is going on? These are nice to work with, by the way. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm in awe. This is actually one of my favourite colours. Um, my favourite colours are generally pink, blue and purple. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh and a purple. And this one is 996. So you can see the difference. There, this one is looking more green now. Look, look, it's next to a blue. So yeah, my favourite colours are purple, blue and pink. I don't know why just always been like that my bedroom is those colors uh mainly blue like a baby blue and then i have like tints of purple and pink oh that one is so pretty oh wow these really are pearlescent mermaids this definitely is a great this could be used for christmas though that's the great thing about it look and they are so nice to work with as well. And that's just one coat. I wish the camera would pick up more of the shift. Oh, they're so nice. It's in different angles. It's like different colours. I do like all those colours. I'm very happy with them ones. So I'm going to cure this one. And then we're going to move on to the pink. So I am just going to open up the bottles and put them by the side. And I'll be back in two ticks. Oh, and this is a close-up of what the bottle looks like. Sorry, I didn't actually do that. I do love the packaging on this these like gel polishes, that ombreish sort of rainbow tie-dye kind of thing. Um and everything does come with instructions by the way. I'm not showing them because there's just really no need. I've got tons of videos showing instructions. But anyway, I'll be back in two ticks. <laughs> so these ones cured really nicely and they cured fully for 60 seconds. Um, so yeah, so far so good. I will top coat them at the end, of course. So now we are going to do this one. This is the pink jelly gel nail polish. Um, by the way, the McCart ones, they come in this like foam stuff. Um, it's really thick and no bottles will break. And then the Beatles just come in like a box. In the Beatles box, um, and then let me find it. Here it is. Um, it comes in just this Beatles box, and inside is your instructions, and then there's foam, not foam, sorry, polystyrene. Really, as you can see, the the bottles all like held. So yeah, the packaging. I don't know if I showed it in this video. I know I showed it in the last one, but some people might not have seen that one. So yeah, by the way, you should go check it out because I've got some really cool things on the Black Friday sale. But anyway, this is the a pink jelly polish. So like I said. This one I was eyeing up for a while. I was eyeing up this one longer. Um, but this one, I don't know, a pink jelly is just so... Oh, I just love pink nails, you know? So anyway, this one is... Oh gosh, right, okay. I think they're all... No, they're not. <clears throat> this one is 1011. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry guys, but my voice, my voice is very crackly. Okay, so this one would need two coats, I'd say. It's definitely like a topper. It's not, uh, well, no, you can still have like a jelly effect with it. Um, but it's very, very clear, as you can see. But then again, uh, these are, this is a jelly gel polish. So, like... This is what you would expect. It's nice though. It's very pretty. And I am happy with that one. So the next one is 1012. And it's like, ooh. This one looks very... This one, it reminds me of something. Um... Oh gosh. You know those like mousse yogurts? Not mousse. It's not like mousse, but it kind of is. I can't remember what they're called, but they used to be like a thick consistency and you could get strawberry and chocolate. 
I think they recalled the moose. That's what this reminds me of, and it makes me want to eat it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a nice jelly pink. Um, of course, you would have to like. These seem a bit runnier than the uh, pearlescent one. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but that's not not a bad runny. But yeah. So the next one is a two four six. Ooh, this reminds me of the hot neon pink in the pink kit oh that's a nice pink if you can get this on like a nice like a decent thickness but not too thick still make it jelly oh that is really nice and don't forget you can of course like build up the opacity of these um i do like my jelly polishes to only have one coat because you tend to if you build it up it tends to go really like um well not jelly <laughs> see these are running can you see these are a little runnier uh, this one is 10 14 oh now this one is oh okay this is my favorite out of this 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 uh set the the pink one i mean oh that one is so pretty oh i'm in love that is so gorgeous oh so lush look at that oh See, this is what I'm actually like when I swatch, guys. It's just you don't hear my weirdness. Um, this is 244. Oh, this one's even hotter. Oh, wow. These two together on a set of nails would be a bomb. Sorry, is that what all the hip kids are saying? I don't even know why I said it. So strange. That one is nice. I really like that one. But yeah, look, can you see? This one's very much runnier. And then the last but not least, we have 1013. This one seems like... Hmm. Okay, I, th I like this one. It, but they look very similar to that one. But it's darker. Oh, you can see better on the camera about how dark, much darker it actually is. It's darker, but not like that dark. Like, don't hold the breath, you know, you... you... You're not going to get too excited. I'm trying to find something to clean that bit. Okay, so, um, eh, these, I'm happy with them. These three colours, definitely, and this one. I do like this one. I take it back from what I said beginning. I'm starting to look at it and I'm really liking it. This one is not my favourite here, even though it reminds me of, like, my favourite, like, yoghurt growing up as a kid. I think, like, Americans, by the way, uh, we call... Oh, like, well, you call it frozen yogurt. I think that is, and it's ice cream, isn't it? Our yogurt isn't like Greek yogurt. It's just like, I'm pretty sure you know what yogurt is. I don't know why I'm trying to explain. Um, that is quite a nice glassy sort of pink. I'm going to have to cure these because, look, it's just running, and I'm too lazy to find something to, to clean it up. But, yeah, this is what they look like uncured. Might even go in with a second coat because um see if we can bring out the opacity for the video but they are definitely runnier than um some of the gel polishes i've got but i think that's because they are jelly i don't know oh <sighs> right we'll be back in a second so they cured perfectly fine um this one is just like we're gonna ignore the bad swatching there okay so i am going to give them a second coat because I feel like, because this is a swatch. Okay, so it's still jelly and it's just giving more glitter. I know that some people will say, but you can sponge it on. That's true, you can. If you want more glitter, get a makeup sponge and sponge this on. Sponge the sucker on. See, this just reminds me of like, maybe it's like milkshake or something. I don't know. I think that's what it might be. I don't know. It just reminds me of strawberries though. <laughs> Um, this one though is very a nice glassy pink okay and it, you can build up the opacity and it's still quite nice opacity opaqueness I think I might be saying that wrong I don't know okay so it's still pretty um, still got that glassy sort of like that one is really really glassy and like yeah it's, but it's still got the colour I am loving this pink though I don't want all of my nails to just be that pink. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to go on to the next one. So this is the one where I thought that this was like the darkest sort of neon coloured jelly, but it's not. 
um this one is so they are still very jelly oh, i put too much on <laughs> they are still very jelly um definitely liking the build-up of these excuse my mess over there definitely still liking the build so they you can still layer them and they are still very jelly like you can still see through them this one's not so jelly anymore it's like a cloudy jelly but yeah i really actually do like that set not big fan on this color but the rest of them are really nice so i'm just going to cure that again and I'm going to quickly off camera and just going to top them with some Model 1's top coat basically because the brush is thicker and I like a thick brush and the, the Model 1's top coat is nice and shiny. So I'll be back now. <laughs> so here are what they all look like when they are cured <clears throat> with the top coat as well. So there's the Beatles one. That's, I really do like that set. This has got to be my favourite set because it's pearlescent and very mermaidy. So yeah, that's the these all have top coats and they are all smooth. And then this one here is the pink jelly. Of course, that one was the mermaid. This is the pink jelly set. So all in all, I think there's some really nice colours there. Um, the pink is very nice for um any type of nails at any time of year. Um, these are very nice to make like mermaid nails of course but i reckon they would look really nice for christmasy nails and then of course this is just the perfect christmasy sort of little set so anyway, I'm, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh take a minute and see what sort of set i want to do and i'll be back in a little while with an idea so stick around guys and i'll see you guys in a bit hey guys and i'm back so i actually recorded this over three days okay so <laughs> I forgot what I said in the swatching video because um yeah but anyway as I promised on Saturday I did say that I was going to do two sets because well not two sets but like a set for each hand <laughs> with the um gel polishes that I'd gotten uh so that's what we're doing today so I've really buffed out the shine from the nails and now I'm going in with well I've gone in with some base coat and I've cured it um and now we are going to go in with all of the colors i think these are this kit i'm absolutely obsessed with i think it's because my my favorite all-time color is blue but then like pinks and purples are like really close to blue but then all other colors i'm really a bright person i love color but i can't say no to blues and and like that gorgeous hollow glitter oh so beautiful so anyway <laughs> basically i paint all of the nails like a solid color apart from the middle nail which i do with a marble i do show you how i do that marble uh in a second but i just do one coat i cure you can go in with two coats if you want to but these are pretty opaque um and one coat coverage beetles are always good like that with like i love their polishes it's just the as i said in my last video it it's kind of just when they're like oh but you know you're in the uk so we won't worry about you until like next year <laughs> uh, so i am using my little palette that i made i will link that video in the cards i will also link the um the haul the amazon haul from black friday in the cards as well in case you're wondering what the hell i'm on about <laughs> um but yeah uh so this is how i just do my marble i just uh sort of like drag and dot the colors um across my palette here and then I just scoop it up with a gel brush and I kind of just like drag it back down the nail and the gel polish just falls off as you can see and then when I've like, I'm happy with how much coverage there is I then uh, gently pull the gel as you can see like I'm being very gentle I just pull the gel through each other don't do it too much though because you'll end up with just like a gunky mess of one color I'm just like using the very tip of my like the corner of my brush and just dragging it around to make sure the nail is completely covered as you can see um and then i cured for a full 60 seconds and then we moved on to the foil so this foil i didn't actually come in the foil kit that i got but i was absolutely in love with this foil it's so pretty my mum wants me to make it this set and i am totally going to because it is so lush this set turned out so great it was my favorite set um so yeah whilst that was that macaque foil glue was curing in the lamp I again as i always say best foil glue i've used you cure for 60 seconds and you stick your foil right in and it's so beautiful i don't know why i kissed my fingers that was so strange um 
<laughs> I totally lost my train of thought. Uh, but yeah, it, 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 it turned out really great. And you'll see the perfection of the foil transfer. Trans, transfer, not for. <laughs> um, anyway. Now we are just going in with some snowflakes off camera apparently because I can't get into frame. I am very tired. Um, <laughs> so those are the snowflakes that come in the gel polish kit for Beatles, the little um, Christmassy one. I put it on the uh, lighter blue and then that really nice dark navy like royal blue. That dark blue was really lush. Oh. And here we go now with the foils. You just press and... Uh, press the foil in and then you just rub your finger across of course make sure you get it right because otherwise once it's down that's it you're not gonna get it back up <laughs> um so yeah as you can see i'm just peeling it back slowly i can see what i've missed and i just push it back down make sure it's all on and look at that perfect transfer i was so happy with the, these nails um and then i just top coated so the next one now is pretty much uh not the same but similar but i wasn't happy with the way they turn out. Uh, I did find that the jelly macar the, the pink jelly kit, the actual jelly colours, like the solid, not solid colours, like the dark, the neon pinks, they are very runny, so you have to like cure straight away. Um but they were nice. I really liked how the thumb and pinky finger turned out. And I kind of done a boo-boo on the middle finger with foils. I didn't like how it turned out, so I just stuck a hell of a lot of rhinestones onto the center um <laughs> and these were the rhinestones that i was meant to get in my amazon haul but it took too long to get to me well it didn't take too long it was just i had to get the video by saturday and it was meant to come by sunday but they ended up coming saturday evening so i could have actually got them in the video but never mind um but yeah i will link them down below because they are really stunning and that you get like um six pots of different colors I didn't show them all in this video because this video is really long i do apologize but because i had recorded the swatching um on sunday i was like i'm not <laughs> i'm not redoing that and i'd done like a live chat with it and i was happy with how it turned out so this video is long hey grab a cup of tea i'm saying at the very end grab a cup of tea <laughs> and chill out with me and let's talk nails i'm really on a hype because i've had so much coffee and energy drink today because last night my son kept getting up it was like twilight hour they knew that elf on the shelf was coming <laughs> and uh, they kept getting up and they were driving me insane i'm not joking they just kept getting up like getting excited it was like santa was coming and i was like oh my days so i didn't actually get to go to sleep until about half five this morning and then we were up then at eight well no we were up at half eight um and she my daughter had school at 10 to 9 so, and we got ready and we were we were on time so hey go me they were like eating their breakfast in the car <laughs> um, but yeah so anyhow um, I done the same thing with the foils again and rubbed them in and then I peeled them back of course and then of course I top coated. Uh, the uh, peel, so the, the jelly, the thumb and the pinky are jelly and what I done is before curing I dragged through that white peel essence, this one here, I dragged that through the wet jelly colour and then cured it and it kind of gave that like icicle marble sort of effect and I was really happy with that one but this is the nail that didn't turn out right it's because of the dark outline of the butterfly I kind of wanted to do like a Christmassy butterfly flower theme because it was pink and I thought you can't not well you can but I was thinking I don't want to just stick snowflakes on this one as well and I was like I really really want to do some butterflies and flowers because these are the foils from the haul one of them anyway I had loads <laughs> and uh, yeah I just really wanted to use them but they didn't turn out as well as I'd planned so I just stuck a big cluster of gems of course if I'd advise with this if you were to repeat what I'm doing and copying what I'm doing on the pink set I would leave this nail completely bare and just have that white color or have it white with the the rhinestones on um, so yeah, <laughs> um, I don't really know what to say. Yeah, they didn't turn out too bad. I definitely love all the sets there. I can't wait to use them again. The Pearl Essence sets I'm going to be using so much for like frosted ideas like on gel. Um, 
and that blue that Christmassy blue one from Beatles is really really pretty so here are those gems I was on about so what I do is I just stick on some of my Macart rhinestone glue and then I push three big gems with like the pointy backs into the into the gel try to pick it up with tweezers and it won't go well <laughs> well that rhymed I'm so random tonight so anyhow yeah as you can see I'm just pushing in they're like a really a light baby pink I push three in and then I make sure that they stick they start to slide so I use my fingers of course to squeeze them back together uh, I cure them once I would put the third one in and I was happy with it then what I done is I took it back up the lamp and you know where like there'd be holes where I just went to put a gem then I put some more rhinestone glue into those gaps and I stuck the small pointy back ones, these ones, into the corners that you'll see now and then I cured again and it will avoid, you'll avoid having your hair trap in all of the gaps on the gems um, and this rhinestone glue is great because it dries non-sticky, it's not tacky which is fab so you don't have to worry about like dirt and dust getting gathered in it i love this glue it's my favorite glue i'd probably it probably glue everything and anything to the walls i gotta be honest um so i did want to try out these little tabs i bought them on amazon um and i've just never used them so i was like do you know what i'm gonna use them i'm gonna try them um so they actually work really well they hold they held on the nail really well so you just uh, stick them onto your thumb or onto your nail and then you peel off the little plastic piece and then you just stick your nail into it or i figured why not stick it into the back of your nail and when you're ready to put them on you just peel off that that plastic and stick them onto your nails and this is the end result guys so which one is your favorite i really am not impressed with the pink but I do like the thumbnail. That thumb is really, really stunning. Uh, but the blue one is definitely my favourite. And the Christmassy vibes that I'm getting off it is just really, really great. Um, yeah, I uh, enjoyed these gel sets. I'd highly recommend them. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to keep on smiling. Don't forget to stay safe. And I will see you all in my next one, guys. Bye-bye.